this is my Trek Project One Madone 9.5. And if you didn't know, I actually designed the paint job on this one. It's my Project One Madone that I designed. I designed the paint job, I chose the components, so I designed the paint job on this. When I visited the Trek factory back in August, I had the opportunity before I went to send off my design for my Project One bike, which only took me a day or two, or maybe even three. Anyway, I chose the Madone frame in the H1 geometry. So the H1 is Trek's racing geometry. Why did I choose the Madone? Well, I really wanted an aero bike and Dan Lloyd's got one. I was kind of jealous, really wanted one of those too. Anyway, once I decided that pink flames on a green frame and green flames on a pink frame were probably not the way forward, I settled with this, which is raw orange at the front through to yellow at the back. I really like the fade with orange touches on the inside of the fork and the chainstay on Trek's very own deep dark blue. It's got a gloss finish as well, so you can choose between gloss and matte, but I just like the way this sparkles. I think you'll agree. Before I got hold of this Madone, I actually hadn't ridden a bike with one of these, which is Trek's ISO speed decoupler, which does give a little bit of give, if you will, at the back of the bike. So for me, it takes the Madone from more than just an aero bike to a bike that can handle a few rough roads and it's a comfortable aero bike. So comfort and speed, that's exactly what I was looking for. Now, if you couldn't tell, I really, really don't want to stop talking about the frame, but I should probably tell you about the rest of the bike. And I think I should probably start at the very top of the bike. GCN's saddle partner, Physique, have provided me with the Physique Volta R1. Now, the Volta is one of the newer models. You're perhaps more familiar with models like the Arioni, the Antares, and the Alliante, but it's designed with Philippe Gilbert. And personally, I really like the saddle. It's really, very good. Although I do like the other offerings in Physique's range as well. Moving forward from that, I think that the bars and stem on the Madone should almost be considered part of the frame set because they integrate so well into it. So they are the Madone bars and stem, like I said. The stem is 12 centimeters long and the bars are perhaps a little wider than many road riders prefer, but having raced cyclocross predominantly for many years, I do prefer a slightly wider handlebar. So they're 44 centimeters wide. The bar tape, well, the bike's gonna get ridden for most of its time in Britain. So the bar tape really had to be black. I'd love to have made the bar tape fit with the colour scheme on the bike, maybe orange. Orange perhaps would have been a bit loud, but that would just need replacing really regularly whenever I rode in the rain, so it had to be black all the way. I think black bar tape is the best. Now I'd seen all of our videos about SRAM Red ETAP, but until I got this bike, I hadn't actually been able to get hands on with it myself. So it was kind of a no brainer when choosing the group set for my Project One bike that I would choose Red ETAP. Also, I do all of my mechanics at home, and I think for a home mechanic, fewer cables and fewer wires does mean slightly less maintenance. Most of the maintenance that Red ETAP requires is just plugging the batteries into charge, and I think we can all stretch to that, so it was just a no-brainer. And as it's an electronic group set, you've got the same great front mech sound. Oh. You hear that? So cool, I love that. That keeps me motivated when I'm on grim winter rides. Gear ratios are 39-53 up front with an 11 through to 28 cassette at the back. And I actually chose the chain rings with the slightly flatter roads around Waterloo, Wisconsin in mind. So if I'd chosen for home, I might have gone for something slightly easier. Like the handlebars and stem, the brakes on the Madone 9.5 are really part of the frame set and the overall philosophy of making the bike as aerodynamic as possible. So both brakes are called the Trek Madone brakes. They're both center pull and the front brake has these covers at the front so that when you turn the handlebars, the cables remain concealed within the frame and I guess slightly more aerodynamic. That just leaves a few components and finishing touches to my bike. The bottle cage is a Bontrager Triple X carbon fiber bottle cage. The bottle, as you might have noticed, is a very nice GCN Camelback red bottle. And the wheels are Vision Metron 55s. The Metron 55s are about the medium depth in Vision's range, which means that they have really, really very good all round performance. Tires are Vittoria on this one. All that leaves is the pedals, and the pedals are actually manufactured really very, very close to where this frame is painted. So the frame was painted at Trex factory in Waterloo, Wisconsin, and the pedals are made about half an hour's drive away in Madison, Wisconsin, and they are the PowerTap P1 power meter pedals. Vital statistics now, and my reach is about 55 centimeters. My saddle height is around 76 centimeters. The crank length is 172.5 and the weight, the weight of this bike is about 7.7 .7 kilos. So that does sound like it's slightly heavier than the UCI's lower weight limit, which it is. But when you think that this is a custom painted bike and paint 
actually contributes quite a lot to a bike's weight and the fact that it's really aero, I think it's worth it. Anyway, if you couldn't tell, I absolutely love my Trek Project One Madone 9.5. And if you agree, and if you think I've got the design right, give this video a thumbs up and hit share too. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and get more great videos like this one every single day, click on the GCN logo. And to see a pro Trek Madone, in this case Fabian Cancellara's, click right there. And to see our Trek factory tour where bikes like this get painted, click down there to check that one out. Finally, there is a link to our shop on screen.